everybody, it's Jeff. Uh, this is going to be part 9 of the ICM IT28 Soviet Bridge Layer 135th scale. Uh, we still have one more step to complete uh, on the whole, which is uh, part 7. So it, there's only just a few parts, won't take very long to do, and then I want to get the grab handles made up. We've got some wire here, and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, okay, let's go down the bench. Okay, thanks guys. Okay, uh, let's see what we can do with these grab handles today. Um, I made one up already. Okay, I just wanted to kind of test and see how my wire size and everything looked. I, th I think it looks pretty good. Okay, this is 0.5 uh, copper wire. It's really soft. It's easy to bend. I've got loads of it. I've got a 0.5 and I think I've got a 0.3. But the 3 looked just a little bit small. So let's go ahead and go with this one. Um, I've got a drill bit that's just ever so slightly larger than the 0.5. I've got some photo etch bending pliers. I'll show you what I do with those in a minute. I've got some of these Zuron nippers that really make it easy to cut the wire. And I've got a scribe for a, you know, to mark the holes with. <clears throat> now the instructions, they say to put a grab handle here, here, and on this piece that'll go back here. I think there's probably going to be more than that. But there's a hatch right here. That has nothing, no detail at all. And I think I'll put, I'll put a handle there, and then there's a set of doors here that has nothing. And I thought I might put a set of handles, or at least one handle, on one side there. Okay. So here's what I've been doing. Um, this piece might still be long enough to work with. The nice thing about it is it's just wire. If you make one up and it's not quite right, you just you can bend it again or you can throw it away and make another one. So to bend them, what I've been doing, trying to get an idea just about how far back on the jaws I need to go. About like so. Whoops. And just bend it. Okay. And a lot of times I'll take like a handle or something and kind of bring it around just to make sure the curves are tight. Okay. And then straighten it out a bit. Okay, I think that'll be fine. Piece of wire's bent just a little bit. A little bit of final adjustment. I think that'll be fine. Let's see if it's pretty close. to what we want. It may be just slightly wide. We can work it in just a little bit. And like I say, it's just wire. That's about right. Okay. Go ahead. Now these are all. These have already got uh, a little spot in them for where I want the hole, so I don't need to use the center punch for the the engraver there. Just gently go through. Okay. 
I'm watching for a delivery. I got prescriptions that are supposed to come. So I'm just watching for that. Okay. See how we got it here. It doesn't matter if they're a little bit long. Yeah, there we go. Straighten it up just a little bit. Okay, I think that'll be, I think that'll be pretty good. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll glue them in later. Let's go ahead and do this. Now I noticed with this, it says to put a grab handle here, but there's a whole row of holes. There's one in the center, and the grab handle actually ought to be like over that hole not off to one side so I'm going to have to drill those hopefully I can get holes about where I want them think about there about there Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I've got one of those Tamiya uh, battery powered drills, but I hardly ever use it unless I've got a whole bunch of holes to drill. I kind of like being able to go slow and feel the, the bit go through. And these bit, these are really tiny bits, so you can snap them really easy. Pretty hard plastic. There it goes. Okay, let's see. Can cut off a little bit more of this. I don't mind wasting just a little bit. These are extremely sharp. So I'll cut it back here. These are really good for trimming like the nibs off photo etch. Zoron. Okay, let's see if we can figure out about Gonna be pretty close to right up at the jaws. Whoops, and that's magnetic sticking to things. Trying to kind of neaten it up. Okay, let's see what we got. Doesn't look too bad. Might be just a slight bit wide, but we can we can adjust. There you go. It's a little little high. I generally grab handles generally aren't as high as you think they are. Just 
trying to kind of even it out here. Probably about like that's enough. It needs to be straightened a little bit this way. That's what I like about the soft wire. Okay, that's just about perfect as far as I can tell. So we don't need all of this. And they'll they'll stay in place until uh until I get them glued. Boy, that's going. Okay. A little piece of wire just goes shooting off. Okay, there's that one done. This will go here. I've already done some sanding on it to get it to fit. Okay. That's not too bad. Okay, and then we got... Um, let's see, let's do this one. Even though the instructions don't call for one here, I think it would look better with them. Let me grab a pencil. Well, I don't know if I can even see a pencil on that dark plastic. That pencil's pretty. Let's see here. No, I can't even see it. Just trying to judge about where I want them. Probably That's pretty close. Okay, I know. You can't see much, can you? Sorry. Add a little bit to the detail. And we'll get the other one. I like that. Okay. A little more wire. Hang on just a second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Let's uh, bend another one here. I think this will be about the same. I think. Whoops! I don't mind losing just a little bit of wire. Not too bad. Little adjustment. Okay. Looks pretty good. And I can glue that one in from the back later. I'll just Trim these off a little bit because there's no uh, no place for them to just hang down. Let's see here. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, adds a nice little bit of detail. Okay, we got one more set I want to do. I'll save these little pieces of wire because you never know when you're scratch building something. It'll come in handy. So we've made one, two, three, four. I want to do a set here. Let's see what I can do. There's some little raised parts there, but let's see. I think about right there. About right there. I think this one will be just a little smaller than the other ones. Okay, and this one be a little smaller. Just cutting another piece. Okay, let's see. Go this way. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a little smaller. You could actually do it with the tweezers if you wanted to. You can kind of judge about where on the tweezer you want it. About in there somewhere. Just kind of work it down. Biggest thing is you want them halfway square corners if you can. Let's go back to these because I think it makes it a little flatter. That might be a little wide. Let's see. I think we can adjust. Kind of hard to work in between there. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get some glue on these. Um, we'll use some really thin CA. Just the Instacure. It's probably on there really tight. It's amazing. Let's see. Okay. I clean the nozzle all the time, but it still gets plugged up a little bit. Okay. Get a 
fresh one. Should get a glue looper, I think. Okay. What I'll do is I'll just raise them up just a little bit and then put a little glue all around the wires and push them down. Yeah. Kind of guess I'll have to Yeah, that's already gluing it in. Okay. Well we'll just leave it there. We'll just do it like that then. It seems to want to capillary in, okay. Okay, and this one. That one could stand to go down just a little more in the back. Okay. Okay, and then this one. This one I can do from the back side. Just that really thin glue just kind of drips off the tooth the toothpick right into the joint. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, yeah, I haven't glued that down yet, but I think I, I think I can. Um, let's look at the instructions. I got just a couple of more things to do here. Set this stuff to the side. Okay. We'll switch it over here. Okay. Um, let's go down here. We've still got, well, we've got the tracks, obviously, and then we've got just a few little pieces here. So we've got this plate that goes on that we just put a grab handle on. And then we've got a couple of pieces here that have, uh, like, toe rings on it. So let's go ahead and glue. Um, this is already sitting there. Let's put that aside. Go back. Okay, I've got this already fitted. It's not uh, it's not glued at all yet, so let's do that. Just put a drop of glue. Just a drop here and there. No real need to paint it on. Well, oh, I did get a with this glue. If you rub it off real fast, before it has a chance to attack it. Okay, then we've got these. Uh, well, 
There's the grab handle that we replaced. Put that back. Then we've got these that have like these hanging from them. There's no detents or anything. We'll just have to glue them in to where they look like they're hanging down. Okay, and these will go right here. It's just a slight outline in the hole to show you where they go. Okay. And then these will go just like hanging here. Kind of like that. Little piece of some kind of fluff on there. Is to stick. Trying to look and see if they look like they're hanging straight. Okay. And then I've got two little bitty hinges that are the other half of these hinges. See if we can even get them on there. Very, very tiny. You don't fit great, but I think they'll be enough to represent a hinge. Well, and let me get a little glue on there. Okay, there's one. Here's the other. And the glue's, the glue's trying to steal it. Okay. So tiny the Blue brush is trying to pick it up. Okay. Got those on there. That's about the end of that step. Well, the next thing is going to be priming. So I need to mask off where these road wheels and stuff go so I don't get any paint on those. These we can drill through. I'm not worried about getting paint on there. I'll just run a drill bit through them and that'll take care of that. But this and all of these on both sides I want to do something with. So I guess we'll get those um, we'll get those next time, okay? Alrighty, that's going to probably be about enough for today, guys. Hope you like that. We'll talk to you later, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>